Welcome to the Fundamentals of Pond Aeration. Is your pond six feet in depth or deeper? Have you seen your fish gasping for oxygen at the top of your pond? Are you having unsightly algae problems in your pond? Does your pond appear to be stagnant and lifeless? The Benefits of Pond Aeration If you have answered yes to any of these questions, or want to improve your water quality, then listen carefully to the rest of this presentation. What is pond aeration? Aeration is the term that we use to mean adding air to the water. Because air contains 22% oxygen, aeration adds oxygen to the water. If you have answered yes to any of those preliminary questions, then your problem may be due to insufficient levels of oxygen in your pond. Ponds that are deeper than six feet simply are not capable of producing significant levels of oxygen at those depths. Below is an illustration that will show you the problem. The good health of a pond is held in a delicate balance. A pond's condition deteriorates when its bottom environment cannot support animal life. The bottom is the area that runs out of oxygen first. The bottom is where the, the most oxygen is used and is the furthest from the surface where it is replenished. The absence of oxygen kills all of the bottom dwelling animals that help keep a pond clean. The loss of these animals, such as snails, mussels, worms, will greatly reduce the pond's ability to clean itself. Nutrients, such as fish waste, grass clippings, dead algae, cause most water quality problems. Nutrients are cleaned from a pond's bottom by the small bottom dwelling animals mentioned a moment ago. When these animals do not exist, the nutrients accumulate at the, on the bottom forming a layer of muck, which serves as a fertilizer for weeds and algae. If a pond is allowed to get seriously infested with weeds, herbicide treatment may be the only way to gain control. The idea is to prevent such infestation in the first place. Natural water cleanup through aeration offers preventative maintenance, reducing sediment before more serious problems arise. In this illustration, we can see clearly that the ecosystem in the pond is positively affected by implementing pond aeration. Diffuse pond aeration occurs by pumping compressed air out into a pond or lake bed via an air diffuser that produces tiny air bubbles. The rising air bubbles bring bottom water to the surface where it is exposed to the atmosphere. Large volumes of water thus lose bad gases to the atmosphere and the water picks up even more oxygen while on the surface. Shallow ponds. Many common pond problems occur in ponds deeper than six feet, such as the pond turning over. However, keep in mind that shallow ponds are not exempt from oxygen-related issues. Up until now, we were dealing with diffused aeration, which can also re be referred to as bottom aeration. If you are trying to aerate a shallow pond, you will not want to install a diffused aeration system. Instead, you will want a surface splasher or fountain aerator. Surface splashers versus diffused pond aeration. Surface splashers include, but are not limit to, limited to the following, fountains, water pumps, and propeller type aerators. Fountains or surface splashers are a popular choice when a decorative aerator is desired. Fountains splash the surface of the pond and help control surface algae and duckweed, but do not aerate down to the bottom in deep ponds. Diffuse pond aeration is the best way to aerate, destratify, and create circulation in ponds over six feet deep. Because the air diffusers lay on the bottom, you achieve total pond aeration from top to bottom regardless of depth. Each diffused aeration system has three basic parts. Air compressor, air diffuser, and air hose. The air compressor sits on the shore and pumps air out through the hose to the air diffuser located on the bottom of the pond. The result is thousands of tiny bubbles rushing out of the diffuser to the pond surface, 
creating circulation and providing aeration. There are several advantages to using diffuse pond aeration kits instead of surface aerator. One, electric motor is on shore, not in the water. Two, the air diffusers lay on the bottom, ensuring aeration of entire pond from bottom to top, regardless of depth. Three, with proper sizing, tubing links up to 2,000 feet can be achieved for ponds without electricity nearby. Oxygen will be supplied to the bottom part of the pond where it is most needed. Thank you for watching this presentation. For more informative videos, please visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash living water aeration.